It'd be a nice way to travel, especially on a day like mm -hmm. today. Oh, everybody's talking about the sunshine the sun. today. Isn't it just glorious out? <laughs> I mean, like, really. We've had a great stretch of weather. I know. It's been I thought so we nice. might break a record today. Is it going to hit 80 Probably somewhere? Probably not today, but tomorrow, I think. Okay. Yeah, I think tomorrow's the better chance for that. It's actually a little cooler than it was this time yesterday yeah. and even throughout the morning. So I think we'll hit close to record breaking or close to the record. We'll but take that. Not quite record breaking. Take that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying. All right, here's a look with our King 5 rooftop cam. I just love this image. You can see the mountains. You can see a clear distinction of where the snow level is. That's pretty cool, right? All right, so as we go throughout your day today, we will continue to warm and notice most of us are in the 60s right now, but we do have uh, Hoquiam and Shelton in the lower 70s, but 62 in Everett, 69 Seattle. So that's quite a difference there, seven degree difference. Um, but you can see that most of us are warming. We will continue to do so today. I think we're going to be uh, right around mid 70s for Seattle. Earlier we were thinking maybe a little bit warmer than that. The record 77 I think will be just below that, but still lots of sunshine. It's not due to uh, that, of course. We actually have uh, the coast a little bit cooler too. Actually a lot bit cooler than yesterday because we're already seeing a little bit of a, a different wind direction there. But I want to talk about as you get off work today and you're going to be walking the dog. It's time for Fido's forecast to get you through the, your afternoon and your evening forecast. Still looking at lots of sunshine. We're looking mostly sunny, mostly clear. Notice those temperatures right around 70 degrees. And this is Ziggy. Ziggy Barkley, like Ziggy Marley, right? So cute. <laughs> I had to put the whole name because I'm like, that is awesome. And he is definitely enjoying the sunshine there. You can see that blue sky, almost not a cloud in the sky at all. Sunset tonight, 813. Getting later and later, longer and longer days. I'm loving it. So here is a look at our satellite and radar. No rain, but we are seeing a little bit of cloud cover, mainly along the south sound, the southwest interior and along the coast. We have an area of low pressure that I was talking about earlier. You can see that counterclockwise rotation and of course what would have been maybe a rain band later uh, or earlier in the season, really just cloud cover at that point and that will continue to push out of here. Uh, so any clouds will continue to clear and you can see here not much going on, right? But that easterly component to the wind is definitely helping us to stay warm today with that downslope flow. And as we get into tomorrow, we will start to see a little bit of a change, not rain, but along the coast. Oh, well, there that went along the coast. We'll see. Let me see if I can get that marine layer to show up. If not, I'll show you later. But along the coast, we'll start to see those clouds. Well, you'll just have to take my word for it. The clouds will actually start to approach the coast tomorrow and then push inland as we get into Friday. So that's when we'll start to see some changes. But again, I think tomorrow most of us will stay nice and toasty. So sunny and warmer along our mountains today. Temperatures in the upper 60s. Uh, and you can see that snow level about 12,000 feet. Let's get to your next seven days here. So I think again, most of us right around the uh, mid 70s. Some of you a little higher than that. Some of you a little lower. Just depends on where you are. But again, tomorrow I think we could hit 80 degrees. Now the record for tomorrow is 82. So could surpass that, but we'll be Whoa. near record breaking temperatures. And then as we get into Friday, I told you we'll increase the cloud cover a little bit, but the rain returns this weekend. So get out and enjoy while you can. The good news is this weekend we'll still have some sun breaks here and there. So it's not going to be a complete washout. It's not going to be a huge a storm or anything like that. Yeah, Stretch but uh, heat, then some water. Exactly. To, yeah, water the plants and the flowers. Exactly. There you go. Which I haven't planted yet, but it could still happen. It could.